Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter. This time we have a Black Veil Val Hazak fight. Hopefully it's gone better than my last one. As long as we don't all die to his gamer gunk that he releases, we should be fine and dandy. These guys are already fighting it, so... Because this is like the story version. So hopefully this doesn't go bad. What I tend to do in these cases is I'll start the fight because you have to go through the cutscene and then I instantly quit so that I can retreat, come back in, I don't have to do the cutscene, and then I can just trigger the joining immediately, or not trigger the joining, but uh, launch a SOS flare because then the timer starts then. Because I know your odds of getting people after, like, the 10-minute mark drop just catastrophically. Understandably, you know, you don't get the rewards, or as much of a reward. So it's... it's not as worth it to most people. Because, like, I don't need money. Could I use it for making gear? Yeah. Do I need it? No. I need parts. And if I can't get as many parts... And I'm, you know, I'm not vibing. And one of the most critical things is to vibe. Oh, that guy's got a light bow gun. Hitting him with that LBG. Hold still and please don't do a fart cloud. That is acceptable. Right through the spine. Plus one of these guys is like a Mastery Rank 100, rocking the, an Elatrion something, the other guy's got a Xeno... Not even like a Xeno Jiko, it's like a Xeno... Xeno... Quila? Some wild bowgun I've never used. I don't know how he got it. Don't really care. All that matters to me is he does damage. I did one of these fights, I can't remember what it was, for last episode. There was a dude who was Master Rank Zero. I was like, how did you get in this? Like, I... If I try to get into these fights at Master Rank Zero, the game would've just, like, punched me in the nuts and been like, No, you don't get to do this. You are useless. I think that might have actually been the Black Veil Valhazak fight where we all died. Or, all the melee guys died, I didn't. I'm a smart boy, I stay away from the gamer gunk. Let's... Yeah! Solid hit! Receive my- Yo, we got a dude with the horn! Oh, this is a drum, that's cool! Yeah, battle horn dudes. Big ups to anybody who does battle horn. I don't see them very often. Oh god, the gunk. Nah, that was a bit sussy through a wall. At least somebody has like healing 
stuff that they're popping. I need to look into what that is so I can start producing it. Ah, oh, that was my last shot. I'm stupid. Now I'm gonna have to move stuff around. I know, wah wah, the minor inconvenience is minor, but... It's an inconvenience to me, and I, therefore I have a problem with it. Trust me, the fact that my sticky ammo is one, then wyvern, then sticky two, then sticky three, upsets my OCD immensely. So I'm just like, why do you not organize correctly? You know, there is a rhyme and reason for all things. shooting you in the noodle until you stop moving, I guess. Didn't really know where I was going with that sentence. It's like, what other options are there besides I'm gonna shoot you in the face until you die? I'm, I'm fighting monsters. There isn't really an alternative. I mean, there is. It's shoot you in the face until you stop and I can capture you, but sometimes it does, just doesn't work out like that. Ah, I thought I had it. And I know I could probably fight a little more fast and loose with my shots. But I'm trying to min-max them a bit. Hey, would you look at that? Time to go resupply. Am I already maxed out on Valhazak research? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, it's just... Wow. And I know I can't capture him, so there's no point in attempting it. It'd be cool if you could. I don't trust that. Yeah, that was to be expected. I was in the way. Okay, so fire doesn't seem to do much. A little disappointing, but whatever. Ah, oh, bad shot. Only clipped his wing. Eh, oh well. It, it's a hit. I'm. It, the, the shots are free, so I'm not really going to complain all too much.
Uh oh. <laughs> it was nice when he was mounted low, now that's a bit high. Best I can do is shoot him in the gonads and hope for the best. A couple taint shots and maybe it'll drop. Wow, that was a little prophetic there. Yeah! That was a good 500 damage off the explosions alone. Dragon. I think he's resistant to dragon, too. What is he weak to? I swear if it's ice, I'm gonna lose it. Because I could have been just dumping shots this whole time. Where are those? Where's that blast nut? I need that. Well, wherever it is, I'll find it. Why am I exhausted? I stood still. <laughs> Boy, howdy, this standing still sure is t leaves me tuckered out. It's not great damage, but I can do a lot of shots. That's what I have to go with here. Sometimes that's all you have to do is just volume of fire. <laughs> Hold still, will you? And face one direction. Good enough. Oof. 
We're all kind of into that one. Oh, that's what took my team out last time. We just were in a confined area, so all the gunk was in one area. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. And I think he's just straight up immune to nets. Yeah, if I can get him in, like, that sweet spot range, I can be pretty dangerous. It's just getting into that sweet spot range and keeping him there. I do wonder if the sort of secret meta is rocking one person with a, cha a challenger mantle to keep him busy while the rest of the team can freely just ping him. Well, back to supplies. I kind of wish there was like a skill you could get that's like, hey, deeper pockets. You can carry bigger stacks up to 99 of something or... Like, it wouldn't be turning a 9 round carry capacity to 99, that'd be absurd. But maybe like doubles carry capacity to a maximum of 99. Oh, it's a bell! It's not a drum. That's some Dark Souls looking weapon, though. Oh, he's almost dead. He is at the angry and very wounded stage. Just what I like to see. I never ride on these guys. <laughs> it's a neat mode of transportation though, I'll say that. Definitely not built for it, but... You would go up. Rude.
He's low, I know that. It's just how low. That was a good fight. Great work, partner. All right, so we'll end this off with a great Gyros fight. Considering one of these guys is like hunter rank and master rank 999, I hope this isn't going to be like I'm showing up. I'm already showing up to a complete ass beating. I just showed up to this poor fool getting just jumped. And I missed. Wow. That just happened. I guess I was right, I showed up just in time to watch this poor serpent boy get stomped into the ground. Oh well, it happens. I don't think we can take this down in 30 seconds. We're not that good. But damn, these guys are sure trying. Wait, let me grab the thing. Yeah. But as cheap as that fight may have been, I think that's a good stopping place. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.